The title of this video is Help Me With Getting the Right Conditional Distribution from a Two-Way Table. This video is intended to help students identify whether to move vertically or horizontally on a, ta a two-way table to find the correct conditional distribution. Let's take a look at an example. A two-way table can come in a few different formats. Here, uh, this two-way table involves two categorical variables, gender and foreign country visited last week. This table has some missing information, which you would need to find out before proceeding. And then move ahead and find whichever conditional distribution you need. or you might be given a table that looks like this, where you need to find the totals before proceeding. Uh, usually in the AP statistics courses, your two-way table would be given. You might need to find the totals as stated in this particular example. There are really two different questions that are going to be asked, and this is where the difficulty has been coming in for some students. Question number one would ask, find the conditional distribution of gender by country. And question two could be, find the conditional distribution of country by gender. These two would give you drastically different uh, results in this case. Let's take a look at the first question. Find the distribution of gender by country. A hint that I have uh, that will, might help you is when they're asking for the conditional distribution of gender, I advise students to look at the categorical variable gender. Since in our two-way table it is moving vertically in a column, each country needs the percentages calculated by column. So for France, Germany, and Spain, we're going to go in columns to do the conditional distribution of gender by country. Let's take a look at what the graph looks like in a segmented bar graph for this example. Notice our question was find the conditional distribution of gender by country. We have the countries listed separately, and inside the country we have a male and a female split out. So this does answer the first question correctly, find the distribution of gender by country. Let's take a look at the second question, find the distribution of country by gender. Again, I advise my students to take a look at uh, which categorical val variable they want the distribution of. And it is of the country, which is moving horizontally in our two-way table. So I want to calculate percentages for male and for female going horizontally across the two-way table. Looking at the distribution of this particular data, we can see it is split out according to gender. And then each country has its own separate piece of the segmented bar graph. So to recap this lesson real quick, uh, question number one was find the conditional distribution of gender by country. Question two was find the conditional distribution of country by gender. The suggestion when looking at your data set is take a look at which variable you need to find the distribution of. If it is country, in this case we move horizontally and find our percentages for male and female moving across our table. If the question was find the conditional distribution of gender by country, the gender moves vertically, so I'm going to calculate my percentages vertically for each separate country.